In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the TKinner graphical user interface for Python. The video is based on a blog post by David Mollusk at the URL shown here. In his post, David gives us a sample file in which he shows us a small app built with TKinner. I'll run the app and show you what it does. As you can see, we get this little window that has a label and four buttons. The first button, green, when we click it, it says you click the green button. Blue, you click the blue button. Reset will erase both those messages and exit program will close. You can also see that in the shell, we got messages when we click those buttons. Thank you for clicking the green button. Thank you for clicking the blue button. You click the reset button. So let's see the code. The first thing we do is import everything, all the widget classes from tkinner. We then create a subclass of frame, which is a tkinner class, and we'll call that class window. In windows init method, the first thing we do is call frames init method. And we pass it self, and then we pass it parent, and parent will be the main tk window. And then we set the background to beige. And we set self.parent to parent, whatever was passed in. Again, that's the main tkinter window. And then we call self.interface. Let's take a look at self.interface, the interface method. We use that to set the title of parent, which is the window, button test. And I'll run it again to show you that that's happening. You can see the title there is button test. Self.pack with fill set to both and expand set to one will make the widget fill the entire window. And then we start creating the widgets that will appear in the window. Label 01 is a label. We pass it self, that's the window. And then we set the text to click either the green or blue button. And we have the foreground color is blue and the background color is beige. We then place it in the window at position 1010 or 10 from the top and 10 from the left. We then create a button object, which we call exit button with the text exit program and a blue foreground and a red background. And what happens when we click on that exit button? We call self.quit. That's the built-in tkinter quit function. We'll scroll down a little bit to get more info. And then we place the exit button, 150 pixels from the left and 120 pixels from the top. Let's run it and look again at our label and our exit button. The label, click either the green or blue button. Again, that's 10 pixels from the top and 10 from the left. And the exit button, which is 150 pixels from the left and 120 pixels from the top. We then create our green and blue buttons. They're also of the button class and they have text on them, a foreground and a background, and we place them. We place the green button 10 pixels from the left and 40 pixels from the top and the blue button 10 pixels from the left and 80 pixels from the top. There they are. The next method is clear labels, but before we look at that, let's go down and look at the green button and blue button methods. These are the callback functions for when people click on the green button or the blue button. I'm going to scroll up a little bit back to those buttons to show you that. You see the command here for the blue button is self.blue button and the command for the green button is self.green button. So we'll just look at one of these, green button. This method will get called when the user clicks on the green button and it'll print, thank you for clicking on the green button. And then it will create a label and it will create a label that says you clicked on the green button with a blue foreground and a beige background and it'll place that label 80 pixels from the left and 40 pixels from the right. The blue button works in the same way. The clear labels just gets rid of anything that's written out. So label 02 and label 03, which are created by the green and, and blue buttons, will just get emptied. You can see the text is an empty string for both of those. Background set to beige, the same background as the background of the window. Okay, and then the main function. In the main function, we set root to tk. tk just creates that main tkinter window. We then set the geometry of root to 275 by 160. 
that's 275 pixels wide by 160 pixels tall and we position it 500 pixels from the left and 300 pixels from the top if we set this to zero zero it would place the tkinner window right in the upper left corner of our screen so i'm going to change those back to 500 by 300 and then we use the window class we created above passing in this root variable, this root object that we just created, and we assign the result to an app variable. We then call root.mainloop. That will just keep looping and waiting for the user to do something and reacting to those user actions until the quit method is called. When the quit method is called, it gets out of that loop and calls root.destroy to close the window. It doesn't close the IDE, it doesn't close the shell, it just closes the window. So. I'm going to run it again. You can see here's our window. And when I click green, it says thank you for clicking the green button. Blue, thank you for clicking the blue button. Reset, you click the reset button. And then when we exit, that's going to get us out of that main loop. Close this window. And down here, you can see that we've left the program. But the shell stays open and close the shell. So the last thing I want to do is just show you how to create another button. I'm going to copy the blue button, paste it, do red. I'll change all the instances of blue to red. We'll call this label 04. You click the red button. Foreground of red, we'll leave the background as beige. And we'll place this to the right of the blue button. Now I'm going to scroll up here and I'll copy all this code which is the blue button. Change that to red button. Oops. For red, red. The text will be red. The background is red and the command will be self.red button. Then we'll place that button 110 pixels from the left. And we got to make sure that that's the red button that we're placing there. We'll run it. And you can see we now have a red button. And when we click it, it says you click the red, but it goes off the screen a little bit. We can fix that by removing or by moving our label a little bit. So down here we have the label set at 180 pixels. Actually, this label might as well be in the same position as our other labels. That might overlap with the button a little bit. Let's try it. Click red. Yep, it overlaps with the button. Let's move that label up a little bit. There we go. Now it says you click the red button. When we reset, oops, looks like we're going to have to move those other labels up a little bit as well. Let's do that. 40. We'll have all the labels in the same spot. So now we click green, blue, it overwrites it. You can still see a little bit of the other label in the background, red, and you can still see both of those buttons in the background. So you might want to grow the window a little bit to make more space for your red button, but that should give you an idea of how to add it. So I'll exit the program. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks to David for letting us use his post as a basis for this video. And check out his blog for other great articles on Python and other programming.